The Stakeholder Map Project is run under the South African Centre for Digital Language Resources as part of the Escalator Project. The aim of the Stakeholder Map Project is to collect and share data on digital humanities, computational social sciences and related activities and initiatives in South Africa. This includes data on projects, people, publications, data sets, training courses, learning materials, tools, archives and unclassified records. The Stakeholder Map Project aims to provide deeper insight into the breadth of these activities in South Africa to facilitate enhanced networking and collaboration and to support the optimal use of resources. So, for example, for researchers looking for collaborators or to help potential students identify training programs. The map could also highlight gaps and opportunities to funders and institutions. The data for the Stakeholder Map is collected using a Google Form. Google Forms are a very accessible way to collect data from people, as all respondents need is the web link to the form to be able to answer the questions. We then have two places where the data can be visualized and interacted with. Firstly, an interactive web app called Shiny, and another interactive online tool called Kumu. Firstly, the data can be visualized on a web app called Shiny Apps, which I show here. The web app is interactive, meaning that one can interact with the data, for example, here on the first tab, there is a map showing data for people, projects and training, which you select using this drop down list on the left. If you hover over a point, you see the name of the person or project or training and the institute where this project shown here, for example, is based. If you click on the point, you see the name as well as the subjects covered by the project or person or training, depending what record type you selected to view. If there is more than one point in one place, it shows as a green circle on the map. If you click this, the map zooms in and you can see the individual points. You can click the reset map view button to get back to its original view. The data for every record type is also shown in table form. Up here, there is a tab for each one, including projects, people, data sets, tools, publications, training, learning materials, archives, and unclassified records. So for example, if I click on projects, here you see a table with all of the data for the projects currently in the database. You can sort the data by column if you click on the column header. You can also search using the search box up here on the top right. Our second visualization is an online tool called Kumu shown here. Kumu is a tool that makes it easy to organize complex data into relationship maps. So here, for example, we have our data for projects and people sorted by color and clustered by organization. For example, here are the projects and people based at the South African Center for Digital Language Resources. If I click on one of the points, you can see information for this person or project on the left showing a description, keywords shown as subject areas and methods used in the project or by the person, the organization and email, or for a project, the website URL. The stakeholder map has only just been launched, so at present there are only a few records, but soon the stakeholder map will show many more data points and connections, such as this example here. You can find more information about the stakeholder map project on the Escalator stakeholder map website at escalator.sadilara.org slash stakeholder map. On this web page, you can also find the links to the Google form and the data visualizations. The forms are now open for anybody to enter data. Please do contact us using the contact information shown here for more information or suggestions. Thank you.